Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's the most important, bottom line, critical thing happening on this planet. Today on This Is Important, your tank is on fire, dude. Now, I mean, has The Rock ever detached his rectum? Died sucking his own dick and like drowning in his own cum. Freaking see ya. Buckle up. Happy yeah. New Year! Happy New Year, everybody. Damn, son, oh, where'd man. you find this? 2024. Yeah. We got a month till New Year's, guys. Don't. Oh, yeah. Wake up! Sorry about that. You scared me. It was scary. Hey, man, my my guy's a time traveler. He's ready to get this yeah. year behind him. It's been a rough one for Durs, but it's okay, man. Hey, man, let's get this pandemic behind us and just Please. get back to whatever normal is after this. We're so close. Yeah. I've had I've had a cold for like oh, two weeks now and it just will not go away. And and I've like <laughs> every day that it doesn't go away, I yeah. check to I just look at the covid symptoms again. Mm-hmm. Where I'm like, can you get covid one month after having covid? That's a pretty you could, yeah, dude. That's, yeah, you've got that. Yeah. What is it? Omicron? You got that fucking what that is it called? new new? Yeah. That's yeah. South new, new. African. Yeah, woo, dude. Woo. Yeah. What is it called? It sounds like a Transformer name. Optimus. Well, they all sound cool as hell. Optimus Chrome. Coronavirus. Yeah, that's the thing. We we got to name them like stupider stuff. Yeah, right. name them so you don't want to get it. Yeah, because right. kids are out here trying to get them now because it's the cool thing to do. Which one do you right. got? Yeah, you're like, the uh, motherfucker, I got Delta variant. Yeah, mm. Omnicron. That I shit sounds Omnicron. like straight up like a bad guy Transformer. Mm-hmm. I love uh, it. But yeah, l- luckily I it doesn't seem like I have COVID. So okay, good. But I can't shake this goddamn cold, man. Yeah. Uh, Are, what you're you're home right now? You're not filming because I feel like that's what happens as soon as you got a little break from filming. Well, I've been sick the last two weeks of filming, and they're just they're you know because I'm I'm the lead of the movie, so they're juicing me. Yeah. I feel like I feel B12. like M- M- Michael Jackson, where they're just like <laughs> I'm I'm literally taking shots well, every day. Well, right, shots wait, in, my, B12 in my butt in the booty. Oh, uh, B12, okay. but then also like this new, uh, it's basically like a Z pack that I take in my butt cheek. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, and then our like, our giant medic is the guy that does it. So it, it like feels like we're doing like drugs or something. Oh, because like it's right. weird because I have to take it in my ass cheek, but we do it on set. So it's right. always like us ducking off into a corner and he whips out a needle. And just injects my, oh, injects my yeah. butt cheek. So you, th- it's kind of like a steroid. Does <laughs> anyone else know about this? Or is yeah. it just a guy? It sounds like <laughs> a guy's sure like, yeah, I'm the medic. Come over here. Is he cleared? Is this it, guy? It is... might not feel like a needle. It might not feel like it's actually in your asshole. Yeah, he's uh, he's like a, he's a nurse. But he's, but he's hey, hilarious. He's, uh, he's I, I mean, 6'5". Like, That's so funny. 350. <laughs> he's like, he's like a house of a man. So it doesn't seem like... I've never seen a nurse this That's much. a huge nurse. That's one huge <laughs> nurse. Have we talked about somebody being hilarious because they're 6'5 before? Or did I just have deja vu? Uh, well, no. I remember I remember we didn't hire writers in the Workaholics writers room oh, because God. they we were convinced they were too large for the room. We're like, with, they're too... But it's with that too said, small we had of a one, room. We had one of right. the tallest writers ever, Rutz the Man. He was a giant human. Rutz was... Hey. Six, he was he was a two or pretty three? tall guy. Maybe, Maybe I just he stood up tall. Yeah, He'd be a little six four. Yeah, he carried himself tall. <laughs> we didn't have the biggest writers' room space. Like you know, we can't have somebody in there six seven, regardless of how hilarious they are. We're all crammed into Van Nuys. Goddamn! Mm-hmm. But now, but now we could space. because of uh, Zoom. Uh, because of the zo- Zoom room. Yeah, we could get a uh, what's his name? We could, we could get the biggest Aging? writers' room in the biz, babe. What about Tall John? Remember that dude? It was like yeah. six foot ten or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, should we talk about the elephant not in the room right now? Again? Well, yeah. I feel like we. Ha- yeah, I guess we should because they're probably like, wait, what's different about this week? The community's probably a buzz right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like the community's. Let's go. The community's a buzz. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, arugaloids are 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 they're probably going to throw their salads away yeah. <laughs> when Guys? they hear the news. You're never uh, going to believe it. <laughs> Actually, you're hey. probably going to believe it. You're going to believe it. Freaking see ya. Uh, Kyle quit the band. He's a, yeah. he's out. He he said. Fu- Kyle betrayed me. And- <laughs> <laughs> oh, go go Please off. Play a little bit you of got that. Him more. He's got some more. I'm out of here. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, guys. 
Uh, yeah, see ya. Your your king Arugaloid has left the he's building. Be, he's for, betrayed you for for the time being, I guess. What uh, his people told us? Yes, um, we were contacted by his people. <laughs> was that he was busy, and you know he's busy. That's fine. He is busy. He's busy, and he told us his people didn't tell us. Uh, you know, when you work in this business of show. Sometimes there's a lot of pressure coming at you from uh, all these big corporations mm -hmm. taking over right. all the, and you know, <laughs> sometimes it weighs huh? heavy on the shoulders and you gotta do what you gotta do. And he's doing that. It's a bagel. Yeah, and are we afraid now that, uh, the like, you know, I don't want to say dead weight, but mm -hmm. um, the weight that has been cut, are we afraid the podcast is gonna be too good now? It's gonna soar? We're gonna yeah. hit a, a right. I'm, I'm a little afraid just like we found a real nice pocket with right. Kyle, with the four uh -huh. of us, of yeah. just sort of middling, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of, you know, just sort of not not doing too great with the yeah. podcast. Uh -huh. Uh, and I'll, now I'm afraid we're gonna now we're gonna have to compete with the Rogans of the world. Right. Uh, the, the, we'll the, be right up there, you know, with the 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 other shows that are big. I'm sure there's other big podcasts. There's I gotta just be listen. other big. There ones. has to be other big podcasts. Uh, I uh, probably about murder. People Probably love about murder, murder. podcasts. Like Always Sunny just threw their name in the hat. It's like yeah, they're copying our. They're, first of all, <laughs> sipping our tea, <laughs> chugging our Kool Aid. Yeah, we were the first to do a podcast. Ever. Absolutely. And now it's our podcast is going to be too good, and we're right. now we're going to have to. It, it's going to be a runaway freight train, and yeah. I'm I'm nervous for that. So should yeah, we like rename we, it? Maybe. Two uh, two assholes and a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh my, my god. god. Yeah, so do we so now that Kyle quit, do he always called him a bitch, but Right. Is quitting a bitch? Kyle betrayed is me. Is quitting a bitch? Was this a bitch move? Move or is that an asshole move leaving us? Oh, dude. Is he being an asshole? You know, now that's a great debate right there. Speaking of uh Dave King's podcast. <laughs> but uh <laughs> Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I don't know. To some pod. of us, I feel like, yeah, it could be taken as a bitch move, and some can kind of feel like an asshole. I guess it depends if you're an asshole or a bitch yourself. You might, since you guys are assholes, you're kind of in the alpha side of things, you might be like, oh, that's a freaking bitch move. Because right. you guys, you know, you're you're just so strong and intimidating. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's us. And, you know, it's just like, you kicked someone off the island, but for someone over here who's just a little bitch in the corner, I'm like, oh gosh, man, that feels like a real asshole to abandon me to these these wolves right. of friends that I have, because I'm I'm scared. Friend wolves. Oh. I feel like if he starts a if he does another podcast, mm -hmm. that's asshole. Okay. If um, I don't think he's starting another podcast. I, if I had to, if I was a betting man, hey, I I I, am. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he would do something else in a, in a different vein than just, you know, talking with your best friends. Right. Yeah. It would be a different, it'd be uh, ping pong and podcasting together See, you don't while listen. growing vegetables. It's, it's pickleball. Yeah. Okay, Adam, you don't listen. And maybe that's why Kyle is gone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he got into pickleball like the rest of the world. Yeah. Hey, I, I still want to play. I think it sounds pretty fun. Yeah. It does. But I guys. Don't think Rest assured, we're uh, it's TII or die, right? We're we're in it to win it. Who's the next one who's getting kicked off the island? Uh, who's the next one? Who's going to leave like, out of the three of us? Yeah, no, I think we the three of us are steadfast. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, we're 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 the rocks. Oh, you think so? right, here. right, we're I building a so. society. Yeah, we're not building uh, a boat. I think the only way that we would stop the podcast is Friendship. we are just too physically busy that we actually can't find the one hour to do I, the podcast. I thought you were going to sure. say too physically big. Again. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> if we too, get too physically large, we we're can't. Too, we can't. We're too big for the screen. <laughs> the camera can't capture all of us. If someone gets taller suddenly. I can't stop okay, well, <laughs> Let me ask you this, man. If, say, I died in a, a horrific uh, event, would you guys continue the podcast as just the two of you? An event like an at event? a thing, yeah, like at a concert, like you a Travis died? Scott uh, after worlds <laughs> situation. Oh, yeah, Are you I making was light of that. No, I was thinking more of like a farmer's market. Some kind of accident happened where I don't know, oh. like an old man oh. fell asleep and drove through the farmer's market type situation. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. We're Some, really any... hitting the headlines today. <laughs> any 
<laughs> Anything can happen. I'm just saying. Say I. Say I. No, you said event, and we yeah, want to dig did. deep. You did say event, and we're yeah. not. You got a couple assholes coming for the yeah. bitch of the crew. And <laughs> if I become the fucking punching bag, I'm out of here. That's an event. How about the event is that I can't take it anymore? Well, first of all, you said punching bag, <laughs> and you blow your freaking brains out. Punging. You said punching. <laughs> is that now. how you talk, you fucking bitch? <laughs> Shut up, bitch! <laughs> yeah, uh, hide, hide behind your sound. Uh, no, I don't. I do not think. Uh, I do not think that we would continue if one of us were to perish. I, I think right. perishing. We might do one final wrap up, sort of give the the, the guy <laughs> the guy who died his flowers. You know, it, yeah. I would. I would think that that would be one of the saddest. Like, just you guys would be crying the whole time, right? No, 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 no. We would make it fun. We well, would make it fun. Like the uh, the whitest kids you well, know. You those cry guys about it? were yes, fucking, yes, yes. That was so good. Uh, yes. Talking about their homie who passed away. They went on to kind more. of R.I.P. Your more. flowers delivered. They went online to kind of. Uh, tell everybody what exactly happened because it was mm -hmm. shrouded in mystery. Yes, um, it was. What happened? I, I didn't. I didn't know. I'm not. I'm not privy. I think what finally. I mean, it was just a terrible. It was an accident. Let, let me. Because, okay, you you go ahead. Okay, go set, ahead. let me just say. Can I guy, finish? The guy, Can I finish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the soundboard Can doesn't finish? even. Okay, so they all got on to announce it. Um, and then they basically said he died sucking his own dick and like drowning in his own cum. <laughs> and they were, they, they played it oh, so straight right. and it was yeah. so, so funny. That um, is the best. You know, that's, that's how you would want that's it. That's right. If I, you I, guys I, didn't you guys do that for me, it. I'd be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I mean, that is how maybe you would want, but I don't, if my parents, they listen to the pod and that's how you guys put me out. I don't know if they'd be like, yeah, man, they fucking gave Blake a really great send off. Remember when they said he like died from. Yeah. But but like parents would get it, they'd be like, "Oh, like yeah, like, like are your parents cool though, or are they?" <laughs> look, bitches? even if here's a here's a here's I'm here's raised a, by bitch wolves. <laughs> here's an equally sad, like whatever. But I had a homie who uh, was a graffiti writer growing up, and don't make a joke, about to get sad. Uh, <laughs> got hit by a train, died. And uh, like his writer hit by a yeah. train while doing graffiti, like he was tagging yeah, up exactly. Some... Okay, exactly. okay, and um. His mom fucking his mom hated graffiti. She fucking hated that he was doing it. Hated that it was part of his life. But like, mm -hmm. this dude was in it. The whole culture doing it. Uh, it was everything to him. He was a sick artist, and he died. And when everybody from the community came out to the funeral and like said what a good guy he was, how he oh, inspired no. them, like she was like, I get it now, you know. So when oh. our parents hear that you guys say I drown in my own cum, they're gonna yes. say I get it. I get it. I get it now. He was cool the best at, at guzzling jizz. And then my mom will be like, you think it was like you had to get his stomach pumped to get the jizz yes. mm -hmm. out? And you but guys embrace her and she's part of it now. But there's, yes. okay, that but that's sense. kind that of different of because I could see where your story went a totally another way with your friend where it was like everybody from the community shows up and she a goes. A totally another way. Go well, ahead. no, because she could have been like, <laughs> yo, you guys are the reason that my kid, like he, you, like this lifestyle is a dangerous lifestyle. Not that you know, but you know. Oh, but comedy's like, not dangerous now. No, I'm saying it, that would be if I truly died <laughs> yeah. in the act of a co comedic. Well, event. we're in Hollywood. All the all the cocks we have to right. swallow. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Or like if at the if at the funeral, like those guys were spray painting his body. <laughs> sure, like he would want this. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I guess you're right. It is different. Uh, that being said, Blake, if if you were to die, just know for a fact we would do that. And okay. uh, I guess prep your parents. Like, let them know. Well, let them know now. Like, hey, if I were to die, right. uh, Adam and Durs Say are going to talk about how I need to have my stomach pumped from guzzling yeah. too much jizz. And I didn't. And that's why I died. I suffocated with the amount of I drowned in jizz. I've thought about like having funny montages or songs played at my funeral for sure. Like okay. where it's just like when people show up and they're like, "Oh man, this is crazy." That like something happens where they're like, "Oh, we got to get out of here. Why are we even here? Why did he do that? Why did he play that montage? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck this dude. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's no. Let's, let's go. go. Sorry, I misspoke. I misspoke. Or let's, 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 let's leave. Let's leave. Uh, <laughs> Anders I mean, died. That, that, that'd be the ultimate punk. Is 
is uh you it's just you know, the video that you show is just a montage of people <laughs> screaming let's go and you have to and everyone has to sit there and watch right. it's like 12 minute montage right of just people screaming let's go i think i would right. kill myself if i was at one of your funerals i'd be like i i have to, I have see to join him on the other side because this is too much my kids are watching it like what <laughs> your dad was so funny man and he would work so hard on script i loved him let's go <laughs> so uh your dad your dad's gone forever but uh he, he left this very confusing <laughs> montage for you to watch he's not he's not gonna be there to raise you but this this is pretty funny but this is the, the thing he left for and then you, you guys are like you, oh you, brothers. you don't get it you're four years old you don't get it you don't get it <laughs> oh you don't Get oh god, your though. dad was so funny. You're not even funny You're yet. You're not even funny, dude. <laughs> if, You're only if, four. You're so dumb at four. If right now on the podcast, if right now on the podcast, one of us like um like stood up for some reason, like grabbed something and slipped and then landed on the chair in a way that broke their spine and <laughs> killed them. Hey, you don't always die from breaking your spine, but go ahead. True. We ever hey, that's been well documented. Do we need to play the Zip clip? it? Uh, how long do you think it would take for us to stop joking and laughing before we're like, Adam? Well, uh, Adam. Adam. <laughs> if you fell on live podcast, I would lose my shit laughing. And and I I just I come up and I'm just gurgling blood. Yeah, weird wild stuff. Or you're just out of frame and we're clowning because we saw yeah. you like go down and we're well, like, oh and shit. And I'm making that noise when the woman like fell <laughs> fell when she was yes. stomping oh, grapes oh, oh, oh. and she's like, ow, oh. ow, 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 ow. God, I have it somewhere. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, are we, that's hard because if he's off camera, that's hard. <laughs> if that's he's right. off camera and we're like yeah. hearing the death rattle, you know, right. the last thing you hear out of a person's body. And we think he's joking. It's like ow, when, he, ow, when ow. you, when you blew your knee out and everyone was like, he's clowning. Yeah. That's a tough one because if it's off screen, it could be, yeah, it's one of his pranks. Maybe he's, he's punking us, but if it's on camera, right. One of his classic pranks. I like feel if, like I'm not much of a prankster. I feel like you, yeah, you're a straight shooter. You're an asshole. <laughs> I'm a straight shooter. I'm a real asshole. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's it's not a tough one. This is not like a, so you're going to the moon. What books uh, do you bring? No, I, I feel like you guys would joke for a solid three minutes. <laughs> right. I feel like once it starts to near towards five minutes, yeah. the, it, the bit has run its course. Right. We're done laughing about it. Uh, you guys have, have volleyed the ball as many times back and forth as you can until yeah. you're like, and all right. For you guys at home, a, volley the a, ball is a comedy thing. <laughs> no one says. <laughs> I relate everything to uh, to volleyball. Sure. It's a good sport. Uh, Great ow, 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 stop, ow, stop. <laughs> right on time. Uh, <laughs> I had to bring that one out the crypt. <laughs> so, so I feel like right around the five minute mark is when the other person would step. Would, right. You'd go like, "Hey, Dude. all right, stand up. We're, now, we're done." In my <laughs> dream, in my dream, somebody falls and dies, and then somebody else gets up to like protect. Like you, dude, you were like this. And then they actually fall by accident and then yeah. they die. And the last person is like, this is the best. I can't believe this is happening. And then eventually he's like, all right, guys. Guys. Hey, guys. Guys. Finish him. Uh, what? Kyle, what? they're not coming back. What do I do? I'm not, I'm not part of it. I'm not saving you. There was some. Adam, you, did, you did a sketch way, way, way long a time. Way, way, way a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a save. Oh, man. Go ahead. Go ahead and just oh, keep. Man. Back ahead, off. Just, Everybody just, back off. <laughs> I'm out here. Out here by myself on an island surrounded by wolves. <laughs> little little Red Riding Hood. Way, way a long time ago. <laughs> You're wearing your little Red Riding Hood cloak right now. Oh, boy. A couple big bad wolves are howling at the door. <laughs> Dude, uh, what ahead. was that sketch you did? I, go ahead and just uh, try talking. It might have been with Austin Anderson where it was like you guys were high and like shooting each other with guns. And it was oh, that moment right. like they're like prank. They're like happily shooting each other with a gun because they're so fucked up. Well, it was uh, it, the, the the premise of the bit was it was, you know, those weed PSAs that you're like, right. 
they kids get stoned and then they like find a gun and they're uh -huh. fucking around and then it's like uh you just hear a gunfire and then it's like jimmy died that day I mean, right. you know uh yeah. and essentially it was uh, really sad. us it was it was <laughs> us having a gun we smoke weed and then we shoot each other and blood just laugh. squirts <laughs> out and smoke then the, the person just laughs really hard and then mm -hmm. we just go back and forth shooting each other until finally uh one my, my buddy shoots or I shoot my buddy in Austin Anderson in the head. Fatally. And he mm -hmm. dies. Right. And I, uh, then finally I realized that I just murdered my friend. Dude, hilarious. You got to watch it. It's funny. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. It was one of the first reads from Adam that I was just like, wow, this dude is just comedically a genius over oh, here. Where you're you. like, dude, dude. And he's like, dude. <laughs> Like each dude gets more dude. concerned and real, and I'm like, "Oh, this is my dude, man, <laughs> right here. This is my dude." So, what, did, did you watch this in improv class at OCC? Yeah, what? this was kind of while we were still courting each other to see if we we had the chops. And yeah. I remember seeing that video because he was like, Adam. "This guy's a bitch," and you're like, "He's kind of an asshole." He's, He's kind of an, an asshole. asshole. I don't know if I'm <laughs> willing to let my guard down and have him be a part of my life because I know it's gonna be <laughs> a rocky <All> road. Right. <laughs> like, is he gonna shoot me? Is that the joke? Wow. Wow. So wait, this is like bring your bring your sketch to school day? Well, we would no, it I remember it was after our first day of of improv class at Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa, California. Go Pirates. And Go Pirates and it, and I we did like, you know, it's improv class, so you get up and and basically you suss out who's funny and who isn't funny right away. And you yeah. do that by getting up and saying, "Make me laugh." To someone yeah, one yeah. at a time, judging them. I I say yes, <laughs> no instead of yes and. Right. I say yes, no. You yeah. you be funny now. <laughs> yeah, no. Next student. Yeah, next I'm a student. Yes, I'm a no, dentist, next. and uh, you just came into my office. No, <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, but Blake was Blake was super funny, and then afterwards, uh, I went up to him and I was like, I think we should write together. And I remember we were standing in that back hallway of the, the black box theater, and you were like. Uh, hell yeah! You you just started <laughs> to jerk off, and then you started fingering your own butthole. If right. I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, Pizza that's my move. Uh, you were like, finally, <laughs> someone's <laughs> talking to me, and then Not you started fingering Adam. your own butthole. I don't do yes and I do yes but yes but fill yes. it up. Uh, and then we Blake like that one. We went uh, back to Newichek's apartment, and yeah, because. I was like, me and my friend make a bunch of videos. And this was before, this is how old we are. This was before YouTube. So we were just making videos and then, you know, get showing them to friends and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we went <laughs> over to his, uh, uh, New Chick's apartment and watched all their videos. And then they watched all of our videos. And uh, Kyle, and betrayed Kyle um, 15 betrayed years later, betrayed you. us. <laughs> I love the idea that Blake's like, I don't like talking because I can't. I'm gonna bring you to my friend who can, and, <laughs> yeah. and you, he'll suss you out, and then we'll be friends or not. No, come on, dude, that wasn't it. I just didn't live in that apartment. He, Kyle was the closest to the school. I still live with my dad. Oh, right on. Okay, so yeah. it's logistical. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. a logistical thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it still is these days. It's very. You're a very logistical guy. I wasn't socially r-worded. I I knew how to talk what? to people. What did you just say? Socially r-worded. I don't know how else to. What other word? Awkward. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, awkward. That works. Fly. Yeah. Hey, that being said, you could R word it is fine. You could is say it? that. Is yeah. it? I think so. Huh. I, well, huh. I, I don't know, Durst. I've, I've never. <laughs> Hold up is right. I've never said the R word uh, in front of an, an actual person. Yeah. That was R. So, you, you know, hey, you know like who has? You, have. you know who has it twice in one day? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yep. I remember. <laughs> God. And he, by the way, punch me. That's not how we deal with it. <laughs> not how we deal with it at all. Swing on a floor. Uh, do you know if you type in does Adam Devine <laughs> it, uh, in Google, uh -huh. it fills in have Down syndrome? The ripping and the tear. Really? Okay. Should we do this? Yeah, should look at it. That's the top one? Yeah. It does. And the, evidently that Adam. many people... <laughs> That's Adam. <laughs> that many people in the world go like, eh. no, no, dude, you're, you're, it's now down to four. Think, <laughs> but it's number four and five. Did you already do it? <laughs> yes, we have. Does Adam Divine sing? 
Does oh, Adam okay. Divine sing in Pitch Perfect? Okay. Does Adam Divine have a brother? No. Interesting. Then it gets into Does Adam Divine have <laughs> Down syndrome? Down does syndrome. Adam Divine have Downs? Yeah. <laughs> the fact that there's what two the... of them is yeah. <laughs> Wow. Weird, wild stuff. Yeah, that, that, is... that means people be people be searching. Should we do? Let's, but, let's yeah, do, let's do Blake Anderson let's do Blake. <laughs> here. Mine's gonna you. get dark real quick. <laughs> oh my god, number two is amazing. Does Blake Anderson skate? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking Go hell yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's, as soon as you, people start skateboarding, he just skates to wherever they got the snacks and says, "I'll be back with a bunch." Can I do uh, that? Does Blake Anderson? I have a kid. It. That's number one. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Have a brother. Okay. Have a girlfriend. Oh. Ooh. And then it just kind of jumps to other. Have stuff. a kid. Uh, does Blake Anderson skate? That's the second one up. Uh, <laughs> have a brother. Yeah. But yeah. yours is just real questions, and yeah. also like kind of being like, well, he seems like he should skate. Yeah, no, that's understandable. Like, yeah. I, everybody assumes that I skate, surf, or I'm in a band, right. and I do none of those things well, or have even tried or, or a couple at all, of them. Even, <laughs> right. <laughs> or even attempted. Say or it. even attempted to do it. You've tried to skate, though, I, I imagine. Oh, You're yeah. Like, was, I'm going to give this a real go, and then... Oh, for sure. You just got to yeah. know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Yeah. God, skateboarding just never, I never clicked with me. Back in the day, like as a kid, when I got one, I was like, I'm going to be a skater. Not like that I was going to be a skater because it was kind of before skating was big, but like mm -hmm. didn't get it. Body couldn't figure it out. Yeah. I mean, I mean, half of the battle with skateboarding is you have to be totally fearless. I'm not that kind of a person. I'm pretty fearful. unless. But I'm even like, like getting around, like I'm, I guess, I guess I'm goofy footed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just didn't, I never liked the way I was like, is this the way I'm supposed to be facing? This doesn't feel right. And then I'd switch to the other way. And I'm like, also no. bad. <laughs> also really terrible. I, I can't do anything where I'm not facing forward. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. You can't stand sideways and move. I cannot stand, stand sideways. Even right. sitting sideways, like in a car, I'm like, nah, not for yeah. me. <laughs> one wait like when in a you, limousine like on a bus oh, okay yeah yeah okay yeah. okay all those limousines yeah. yeah or a limousine all those uh, stretch limos yeah i have seen him freak out he threw up one time in a limousine yes. because yeah, he couldn't go <laughs> sideways yeah but also uh, like i think it's like like as far as skateboarding goes because now you know i hang out with an, a lot of really great skateboarders and professionals like, oh. yeah and it's like the best they, ever well they and, make it look so goddamn easy yeah and it's like do i you know i want to hang out i want to i want to get some clips with my bros that looks like a lot of fun but right, it's just right. far too late in the game for me to start skateboarding like remember when uh kyle like kind of tried to dust off the board <laughs> r.i.p freaking see ya. I, don't, I don't remember who you're talking about yeah he started to like try to skate again like he built a ramp in his backyard and like immediately he didn't tell anybody this but like fell and like broke his rib and it was just like yeah. done for. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. obviously. It's well, a young man's for game. sure, you have to start when you're 13 years old. When your bones are rubber. Right. 13 years old. Yeah. Younger. Shit. I mean, you those kids were turning pro at 13 back in the day. Oh, that's true. And the, all, the the Olympic kids, women? all the kids that uh, just won, the all the, the girls that just won oh, yeah. the skateboarding in the Olympics were oh, all yeah. like 13 yeah. year old Brazilian girls. Yeah. And, they're nuts. Right. Can you imagine being a 28 year old and just looking at them being like, well, nobody was, <laughs> nobody let me skate until I was fucking 17. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess you gotta be stoked for the culture. Oh no. Those, all those, man, the women skateboarding, I thought was just insane. These Olympics, it was so cool. And yeah. all the, yeah, that was cool. They're all, all of them are so much cooler than I'll ever be. Mm -hmm. Just like, oozing swag yeah almost it's almost up there with swimming but blake you could dress like it dude you yeah, can dress I like it. yeah. yeah i try yeah i try you look yeah that's ass. that's literally the second one that comes up is does blake anderson skate i would say probably this cooler than does adam divine have down syndrome <laughs> yeah I, would say that might... I agree on paper but at the same time yeah no know, knowing blake and his crew and then being like wait does this dude skate it's, yeah it's a shot to the heart it's a super letdown yours doesn't really have any cool ones yours yeah. is all about being norwegian and swedish that checks out yeah like people are there's honors home well no i have 
does Honor's home have a kid? Yeah. Married. Yeah. Yeah. Swedish. Norwegian, Swedish, yeah. Norwegian. Yeah. Like right. they're mm-hmm. truly concerned if what you're uh, putting out there about your Norwegian background, if it's true, which is understandable. Right. I'm sure yeah. Norwegians want to have representation on the Wouldn't screen. it be super tight if I was like a Dolezal situation? <laughs> 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 Where if you guys found out I was black, just yeah, trying to be Norwegian. You're an albino black guy, but you've uh, never yeah. claimed it. You've always claimed Norwegian, like right. the whitest you can be. Uh, Yeah, it's called <laughs> Doopy Trends. I, I buried a BB under my hand. Yeah, no, I think it would be cool if we, like, found out that you were just, like, a straight-up British dude, but you didn't right. have, like, Norwegian blood at all. It's like, right. wait, this dude is just from Wales? The fuck? Right. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that's cool. Yeah, Wales ain't bad. Being from, being from Wales, that works. <laughs> Me and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Who are the, uh, who are the sickest, most notorious uh, Norwegian people of fame? Sick? Like you mean like the guy who murdered 110 people? That? Uh, that's right. Oh, they, that guy. They tend yeah, to be right. sick. <laughs> they, my name. The guy who's got the same name as me. Tend to be uh, rapists or murderers. Yeah. <laughs> Is it real? No. Well, um. I mean, we got uh, what's his name? Carson Warholm, who's like the world record holder for the uh, hurdles Look from the Olympics. This, bro. He's about to pull out deep ass yeah. cuts. Uh-huh. You know, that's Just not say deep Eric cuts. Christian Olsen, dude. Come on. What do you mean it's not? It's not a deep ass cut. You just named what was his name? Karsten Warholm. He just did the. He just. And we're saying that that's not a deep ass cut. He just broke the world record at the Olympics, like however For many months ago. For what hurdles? <laughs> you guys didn't watch that race. Since it you didn't watch that race. I might no, have, but I again, don't. it's like I didn't store. But I wouldn't be able to pull his name. The lead up. Well, I, look, it, it's, her, it's heritage. World records are broken every day, B. Well, but that All was right. what was dope, is that he was racing against the American guy who had just broken it. He broke it. He broke it again. And it was like they were... So you're rooting for him because you love that's him? where your family came from and not the country that you Not true. Resided? Not true, actually. I was okay. rooting for I was rooting for sport that day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's a safe answer from an asshole, man. That felt like a bitch move. <laughs> <laughs> I did bitch out there. Uh, I, no, I love track. Watching track, watching the Olympics is, it's, I fucking love track. I'm going to go to I, the world, I'm going to go to the world, the track world championships. Why don't you marry it? <laughs> up, in, up in Oregon this year. They got that new stadium. It's going to be fucking sick. You know what book I uh, read? Didn't wow. Read. Can't, I uh, can't read, but. <laughs> held at the airport? <laughs> You, you know, know a book I used to hold the door open at a Hudson News. Yeah, no, it was a uh, shoe dog. I listen oh, yeah. to the audio book when I am out on my Fuck. bike rides. Yeah, good boy. Uh, shoe dog. It's fucking awesome. It's all about uh, the creation of Nike. Talking about yes. Bowerman. And, yeah, Phil Knight and Bill Bowerman, who yeah. was the track coach for Oregon, who um, he coached Prefontaine, and yeah. then Phil Knight before that, and uh, started Nike with him. Yeah, right. Uh, it was fucking awesome. Right. It was really interesting. Yeah, and yeah. I don't read, so when I read something and it's good, I if, I won't right. shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> it blows you the fuck away. Well, I mean, dude was making shoes in a waffle iron, like yeah, that's lit- so cool. lit- literally, literally. Uh, that's fucking cool. But yeah. isn't that the whole? Because they're still based out of Oregon, correct? Beaverton. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that is so that's the reason why because like the football team, this is where laced. I, they're laced. They have bro. like 800 oh, yeah. different uniform choices. And the basketball team gets the fucking sickest kids. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. That would make me want to go to that school. On yeah, I think that it, alone. it helps. For sure. I don't. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I don't know if they have a swim team. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't think they have a swim team or else I would have looked at it. By the way, your boots uh, are just, huge because uh, I haven't been back since. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, uh, since we got the the bike, the specialized electric yes. bike, Thanks. finally was able to take it out yesterday. Yeah, mm-hmm. went fucking forever. Rode mm-hmm. for like forty five yeah. miles. Yeah. yeah, it was fucking awesome, dude. And it was so cool because it still felt like a workout. Uh, oh yeah. But then I just went so goddamn far. It was right. awesome. Yeah, people people think that the I mean it's a it's definitely a luxury, but it is such a game changer. Like people think that it does the work for you, but it's just a pedal assist. So like, you're you still, still have to be pedaling. Right. Yeah, you're still going for it. It just allows you to go places. Yeah, that, I went way further yeah. than I normally would go because normally I go to about 
25 miles or so right. is about my limit until my knees are like, all right, buddy, fucking wrap, wrap this up. Hey, we're done. And your ass, I imagine your ass is not feeling great either. No, my ass feels good, dude. Are you are you <laughs> repping shorts with the padding? I do. Oh, I, you I'm have like, to. Yeah, yeah. Dude, my, that's my, how stupid I was is like um, Specialized gave me a bib. You were like, this isn't going to look cool. Yeah, I like put it on. It was the ones that like has the overalls. Oh, I love that when your right. when your nipples all pop out. Yeah, where, do the nipples yeah. go on the inside or the outside of the strap? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a great question. Well, it depends on how uh, you got some wide ass shoulders. Then your nips are on the inside. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's well, what... I gave mine away. Your boobs are huge. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> I I gave mine away, and then I started riding the bike. And like truly, like fifteen minutes into you gave riding, your bibs the, away. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. I gave my Who did you give the bibs to? That's what I was wondering. Where, where It was because I was doing that whole move thing, so I just had to like Goodwill. start clearing my my closet. So yeah, I gave it to Goodwill and then I ended up staying in my house and I started riding the bike and like 15 minutes into riding the bike, fuck, dude, like your your tank is on yes. fire, dude. Yes. It's on fire. <laughs> it hurts hey. so bad. You have to have butt picker pitching. picker didn't happen. <laughs> I'll, I'll get a pic of my uh my Raw. dry tank. Your sore, <laughs> your sore purple tank. Uh, you got it. Yeah, no, I'm Raw. fully. You get. You got to wear those shorts. Do you not? Uh, do you not ride the bike, Jersey? Uh, I've been a little. I was in um, Arkansas. I, I haven't ridden it since I've been back. But I did take uh, my boy for a bike ride the other day. It's great, nice, yeah. dude. The best. I didn't go uh, 45 miles, but you know we we get we got pretty hilly over here. Uh, yeah, that's what's cool about that bike is you do you are able to just m monster up a hill that normally yeah. like because I, I you crazy. know down I live down here on the beach in Orange County right and if you start to head towards Laguna it uh, it gets mad hilly over there and it's some extreme. of these hills I see and I'm like well absolutely fuck that uh, mm -hmm. I no way I'm gonna go up that hill mm -hmm. and now I was just like whap whap. Yeah. yeah, people look at you like you're a superhero. I didn't turn it on because I'm with my kid, and I didn't want to be like, "Come on, dude, what are you doing?" He's like, <laughs> yeah. "Meanwhile, you're soaring." Yeah, <laughs> Wait. my my dad's amazing. <laughs> my dad left me. Uh, it on it is cool because you can't really tell. You, don't tell me you're a bitch. It doesn't. I won't raise a bitch. I'm raising an asshole. You can't really tell that it's an electric bike unless you like really look at it because it the the energy pack the battery is what mm -hmm. they call them uh yes. is on the yep. inside of the bike it's not like the other ones where it's chunky and it's on the outside and you could totally tell yes yeah it's, uh, built, it's built into the frame yes yeah, built into the frame so you and the motor you can you just soar past people and i'm like the whole time i'm like this motherfucker thinks i'm pro look how yeah. fast i i just blew if, him out can the i water. tell you something and if, i'm like he might be a, a bike true... scout he might be a scout. Yeah, there's who's, that. Who's eyeing me and is like, I got to get this guy on the Olympic <laughs> cycling team. If, if he's a true cyclist, no, sir, I don't like uh, him. he knows. Immediately. That's For all sure. they do. They yeah, look yeah, at yeah. other people's bike and get, they go, is that real? Uh, is that real, man? How much does it cost? And is he fast? Yeah. Um, I got a homie who's in my pod who's a cyclist. And Wait, you do another pod? Wait, you do what another? Fuck, dude? Hang like on. The, Did you and Kyle second. start a fucking pod, dude? Yeah, yeah. get over it. Um, in my asshole. COVID pod, and uh, he's a cyclist, and he saw this dude cruise past us the other day. He goes, "That's an eighteen thousand dollar bike," and I was like, "Fuck, Damn, sick!" Son. If you have an eighteen thousand dollar bike, yeah, and you better you, be pro. and you paid for it. You're a sucker. Like, you better be fast <laughs> enough that you start getting that shit for free. What? How do you? How easy is it to come up on a bike sponsorship? That's not my point. Is that if you're spending eighteen thousand dollars on a bicycle? You're that's a, a lot fucking of sucker. You, you you be faster and get that shit for free. This is the way. And that's an asshole speaking. Okay, I like, like that. If you're, I like if what you're, you're not, saying. It, like it, I would say the the cap is ten grand. If if you're paying more than ten thousand dollars for a for bicycle, a bicycle. <laughs> and by the way, ten thousand dollars to you guys at home is crazy money for a fucking bicycle. But it that's is insane. like a, I would never a relative thing. That yeah, that sounds so. You're saying that if. If you're gonna get to the level where you pay eighteen thousand, then just take out like a huffy and ride it so fast that bike companies have no other choice but to be like this. This person well, needs a free not bike. a huffy, but like get your five thousand or three thousand dollar bicycle. Even that's a ton of money. What? How much do bikes cost? I know, but I'm just saying this is a dude. This is it's a crazy world. Well, the road bikes 
road bikes are expensive. I don't yeah. know. I bought a pretty mid level one. I think it was right. like two grand or three. Exactly. Grand or something. So like do that. But these these carbon fiber joints, like if you're really like racing and trying to get that edge, the wheels, the the rims or whatever, the the components, everything's light. This shit gets crazy. What I'm saying is be fast enough to not have to pay that crazy. Yeah, money. that's that's just some like rich guy shit. Because unless you're like truly in a race. It doesn't right. matter. It's like just for exercise, right? right? Right. So like it doesn't really matter if you go that extra little bit faster. But have you heard about this new thing called flexercise? Well, yeah. No. What is it? Oh, because you're flexing on them. You're but flexing you're also on them. Exercising. It's when you're exercising, yeah. but you're, I'm, I just made it up. But it's when you're. It's, <laughs> no, it, I've it, heard it, of it. It, I've it heard would of be that. when you're exercising and you're trying to flex on somebody. <laughs> That's the, actually the name of me and uh, Kyle Newichek's podcast. Uh, Flexercise. Flexercise. So you're saying Flexercise this is, the demons. That's like, remember, uh, when it was like, um, isn't it Kenny Powers? No, nah, I don't like, believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way that's a real podcast. Uh, you had was, me? No, I don't believe you. What I, was Blake, the quote, I know where you're going with this. Was a quote from Kenny Powers where they're like, did you run track or whatever? And he goes, like, I don't oh. want to be the best at exercise. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. He dude. goes, oh, I do. Uh, he's like, yo, you play baseball? He goes, I'm an athlete too. I do uh, triathlons. He goes, oh, cool. Uh, you're like the best at exercise? <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. But if yes. you turn into flexercise, everybody's yeah. flexing like on the gram as far as fucking workouts go. Some of that shit is so funny when dudes – are like just doing shit that's so bizarre at the gym. Oh yeah, where it's like they're yeah. like jumping out the pool with like wiggle weights and like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it's comedic what they're actually, doing. It's like actually, yeah, there's a point is, to that. Actually, uh, <laughs> it's called muscle confusion. Uh, yeah. Actually, I I have a set of wiggle weights. <laughs> um, I follow Great is it Jim Fuckery on oh, yeah. Instagram? <laughs> is so, it just porno? Yeah. So good. <laughs> It's only it's porno and gems. Yeah, it's just a it's just a guy named Jim, uh, yeah. and his fuckery. He's fucking so, a person named Ree. Is it like people doing weird ass exercises? It's everything. It's people from like from like trying to bench press too much and like eating shit, and then people doing like weird exercises in the corner, like or just like a guy who like is just lifted way too much weight and then just passes out and just and like his butthole eat. comes out, pink socks yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of vomiting after deadlifting is yeah. the best. Where they're just, just like, Bruh! just having your I know. It's anus just like, drop just out the bottom. Just do a little less yeah. weight. Yeah, you know, just do a little less. You don't yeah. need to detach your rectum. It doesn't have to be that way. No, sounds like a bitch move to me. This is the way. Um, but do you think uh, we should start a a fitness empire together called Flexercise, mm -hmm. and then make mm -hmm. shirts that say, "Yes, uh, do it, lift it, detach your rectum." <laughs> yeah um and then we or, sell, or, yeah, we, we, we we'll sell workshop the we the sell merch. pink socks i thought maybe are you flexing would kind of be more like <laughs> no oh detach. yeah no there's that too are you flexing yeah. Yeah. we have are Always. you flexing shirts from workaholics are you flexing if you're not do it work it Det detach shoot your, your rectum. asshole detach your asshole detach your rectum and then we and then we sell tube socks that are pink and we and you can buy right those. Pink sock fitness. <laughs> yeah. Pink sock fitness. It's like if you really go, because it's like if you throw up during a workout, sh great. Yeah. You put in some effort. Yeah. If your fucking asshole shoots out of your <laughs> butt cheeks, if you turn your butthole inside out because you're pushing so much fucking weight, bro. That means, yeah, that means you really, you really, really went for it. Yeah. Truly. And you are. Now, I mean, has The Rock ever detached his rectum? <laughs> oh, for sure. I don't know. Sure. Oh, I guarantee you have. I don't know. Deserved. Well, he hasn't posted that on the gram, so we don't know if it's real. And if he... Because he doesn't realize how cool it is. And if he yeah. hasn't, then maybe he's a bitch. Maybe right. he yeah. is a bitch. We need to start normalizing... You can't be a workout guy <laughs> and not detach your rectum. <laughs> right. You have to turn your asshole inside out. Otherwise, Thank you, Brittany. you're a freaking bitch. All yeah. right? Get in the gym. Adam, please tell me someone just came in the room and yep. heard you say you have to detach your ass. Yes, asshole. my little sister just came and gave me a, a coffee and heard me say you have to detach your rectum. Yeah. And, and know, by the way, she doesn't bat she, she doesn't bat an eye. She didn't bat an eye. She no. just knows this is how I talk. She said, here's yeah. your tea. Here's, here's, here's your, your tea. Oakland feel, coffee. Feel better. Oh my Damn. god. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> that's a strong, steady dam. Uh, damn, T I I or so die, good. baby. <laughs> T I I nation. How long have we been on? Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
purple sound. Guys, guys, what the heck, man? Freaking Christmas around the corner. <laughs> yeah. How was? Oh, we haven't talked about Thanksgiving. Did uh, anybody gain extraordinary weight? Like Adam, I gained, you- I gained some. Yeah, I gained some weight. I, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm shooting this movie right now, and I'm like. Uh, I'm getting all the production stills, the still photographers pizza, giving pizza. me all the photos. Oh boy! And my God, yeah. I, the first few weeks, I'm like, I had a jawline, right? It was real tight. It was right after the wedding. I was looking pretty good. Hot. Had as that. Fuck. I, I lost some weight because the COVID. Hot, 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 I had that hot. that COVID skinny jawline oh, going. Nice, I need to get yeah. on that Omnicron, bro. <laughs> Hollywood secret. And then and then now, uh, you know, I've just I've bottomed out. Right. Pants are Your fitting me right. <laughs> uh, my <laughs> underwear is is flap. You know that when you gain oh, weight yeah. and, and your the I elastic strap eating. at the top is folding over onto yeah. itself. Yeah, that's when you know it's it's you've 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 turned a corner. Also, are they like, hey, on Monday we got to bring you in for a fitting, and you're like, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's just your real, boobs are huge. It's yeah. just real quick. Didn't we already do all the fittings? Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's just pants don't seem to be fitting you. <laughs> <laughs> your boobs are huge. your boobs are huge. <laughs> we need the refit. Your boobs are huge. <laughs> T-shirts just aren't fitting you the same, dude. <laughs> we we had to throw out an entire wardrobe, thousands you're of just, dollars. You're just a wardrobe's nightmare. <laughs> You're just riding your bike. Your thighs are getting bigger and more muscular. Your boobs are getting huge. Dude, my thighs are fucking yeah. huge. <laughs> your bu- uh, Ellen Barkin, your who's a, a, a co-star in the movie with me, told yeah. me that I need to stop riding the bike. She's like, your thighs are too huge. Um, it's like they're they're giant. They're like, well, did you tell enormous. her that they're your gift? Yeah, like they're your is gift my, and your curse. God's, God's gift. Yeah. These meaty dogs. I'm like, feel them, touch them. And that yeah. is sexual harassment at work. But I was like, rub them, feel them. Right. Harassment. <laughs> it's science. Did you say quit your barking? <laughs> quit I never your said I need to. I need yeah. To. yeah. Definitely. Quit your barking. She's going to love that joke. Yeah. <laughs> you I do that. like I do like uh, when you work with somebody who just doesn't really know you well, but just cuts you right. to. The, they're like, hey, your fucking legs are too big. Action. <laughs> Dude, they huh? just G check you out huh? the gate. Yeah. Uh, admittedly, I love I love my meaty ass thighs, dude. I love we, we that. All do. Uh, that dude, when you yeah. see me in pants, you're like, that's an oddly shaped man right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's getting to it's getting to be your signature. If anything, people uh-huh. are watching your movies for your thighs. For right. my thighs, and they're gonna hands. start having thigh shots in movies. The, the yeah. Google, the Google search is gonna be: Does Adam <laughs> Devine know how big his thighs are? It says: Does Adam Devine have thigh implants? What yes. the fuck? That's are they too? Are they too big for pants? And the answer is yes. Are you on thyroids? The answer is yes. <laughs> Divine's on thyroid. <laughs> I I uh the the in the waist it well until I recently gained ten pounds. Right. Uh, but the waist of my jeans that are flies. skinny. But then through Your the thighs, I like can't fit them through the, my leg through the hole. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Hey. I'm living in a nightmare. I feel bad for that. That's why because truly you cannot find pants that fit you. But I, I think cycling, I, That's life. like people who cycle, they obviously have strong legs, but like, and I guess it depends on your body type, but like, at least you're doing cycling as opposed to just squats all day long. Do you know what I mean? Like, or sure. Could, yeah, I, and yeah, I'm, yeah. you're not doing that because of your knees, correct? I yeah. mean, like you I don't just, do like power lifting with your legs, right? No, no, no. He does lift. The, I, I was just I, in Atlanta I, yeah, with Adam out my legs. and he mm-hmm. did me because uh, I don't do leg workouts. I just run. And I did like a little bit of a leg workout with Adam, and I felt like my fucking legs were gonna fall off. What are you doing, like um, lunges? Yeah, a lot of lunges and that kind of. And and. Oh my god, that's that'll wake you. That'll wake you flexor, up. Flex flex exercise on them, baby. Squats, squats with just like up, dumbbells, bunga. not like super heavy weights. Like an air squat, but you're holding weight. Yeah, holding uh, like sixty pounds. Oh, just with your arms up in there. No, he definitely had weight. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead and say it. Sixty pounds. Yeah, dude, you were killing it. What do you saw? Two 30 pound dumbbells? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that mm-hmm. shit is hard. That shit is rough. Well, I know. Did, I felt, did his uh, rectum fucking detach? <laughs> no, he's not doing it enough to wear his. <laughs> then, then what are we talking about here? Admittedly, I think I, I think I was going a little extra. I was putting a little extra juice on it too because I was trying to be cool in front of you, Blake. Were you you're really? My cool, you're my cool friend. I was trying to be cool. You were you. really? 
I think hmm? he was. He was definitely. That's, a, that's, a, that's an asshole right there. <laughs> that oh, shit. Important. A bitch is in the gym? Well, let me show oh, him how it's fucking... done. Oh, man. It was cool. I felt I felt like my man's as strong as hell. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I am yeah. I am very. I'm a, I'm a, uh, a fat, fat, strong guy. Yeah. You know? You got those uh, Karsten Warholm thighs, huh? Yeah, uh, <laughs> well said. Well said. What's that weird is I, I didn't even remember who the fuck that was from when you told us. <laughs> it's from just now. I was like, who is that? I thought it was like a quarterback for the Bengals or something. Bengals. Not the I case. I feel like, how many Karstens are there in the NFL? <laughs> There's Carson. Yeah. Carson. Be Carson yeah. There's a Palmer. Carson Wentz, Carson Palmer. Carson uh, Daly. When did, what Carson year Daly. was it like? Johnny Carson. Was it like the year 1996 <laughs> that Carson everyone just named their kid Carson? Yeah, I think that's how it goes. If you're naming babies, dude, when you get into the mix, you just get on the list and you go, oh, yeah, I guess everyone is everyone named does. Aiden. What's, was Carson a, like, was that the mom and dads were watching Johnny Carson and they're like, oh, fuck, Carson's a cool first name. Actually. I mean, that shit happens because... When the Kardashian somebody had a, a kid named Mason, Every, all of a sudden Mason became the most famous baby name. Like, oh really? Baby name. Yeah. And like when the Friends ba- had the baby Emma, everybody was named Emma. Suddenly, every baby was named Emma. And then like really? all our kids are named like Khaleesi and fucking. There's hella Khaleesi's. Kanye. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there really the... Khaleesi's out there? I have yet to oh. meet a Khaleesi. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Yes. I mean, yeah, and people were name. people were lit up that uh <laughs> that Khaleesi ended up being spoiler the the a villain of the show okie dokie yeah they're like yeah. no C- couldn't get there angel. yeah no it um it's sad when you name somebody after a tv star and then the series just takes a turn and you have to rename your your child oh man <laughs> George, did you have a lovely thanksgiving or was yours just hectic and fucked up no, it was good. It was good. It was a little hectic, a little fucked up. Um, it was good. Good, f- good food, great oldies. You don't make any of the of the dishes, though, right? Did any of y'all get in the kitchen? Because I kind of got in the kitchen this Thanksgiving. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's my first time. I carved the turkey. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Because yeah. that's some man shit to do. Uh, I got uh, Omaha <laughs> Omaha steaks hooked me up. Yeah. And, what the fuck? Uh, How'd you get? Well, dude, I worked for Omaha Steaks. I've yeah. talked about them on, I think, uh, Colbert. This oh, Colbert, yeah. And uh-huh. so then from then on, they were just like, yeah, whenever you want, if you're ever having any sort of holiday get-together or whatever, hit us up. And so yeah. the last couple of years, I've been like, hook it up. Yeah. And they did, man. It's like That's such so a cool. – I mean, it's the best. Mm-hmm. I mean, my God. I mean, how much how much do we have to talk about them until they start sending some stuff maybe maybe our way for like yeah. Christmas dinner? Because I would uh, love to have that on my plate. I would love that for you. I I mean, I don't know. I I, I also know worked for them when I was sixteen years old. So if right. you you might have to go work in the call center for uh for like six months to a year. Uh, I feel like Blake would. Yeah, yeah, I can see that for Blake. Yeah, yeah. there's a just lot of re- places that I would put in time just to get free shit. Wiener Snitchel. Where? Huh. Wiener Snitchel. Fast food? Snitchel? Yeah. How do, you, how do you say it, though? <laughs> Wiener Snitchel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it's pronounced. You lose! Wiener isn't Schnitzel? It, isn't it Wiener Schnitzel? Schnitzel? Isn't that what it is? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I Googled you. You're the fucking Swedish Norwegian. You tell me. That's German, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's German. I think you're German. <laughs> Quiet! Will you please be quiet? Oh, so uh, so I'm gonna go shoot uh, this this uh, show Assholes. in Berlin, uh, and now I'm reading maybe because oh, yeah. of uh, this new uh, Transformer variant, mm-hmm. Omicron. Omicron rollout. I you might not it. be able to go to Germany. That would suck, dude. Oh yeah, yeah that, that would, would suck. Fucking terrible. Berlin is tight. My brother lived there. It's a fucking cool town. I want to go nice there city. so bad. I want to go there so bad. You guys should come visit when I'm doing the show. That'd be so fun. We could is do it? a an international pod. What's the yeah, deal? Will you be there in October? Because I think Germany, I think <laughs> Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. No, I'll, I'll be there in the coldest time of the year. I'll be there uh, January, February, March, April, May. Oh, this yes. year. This year. Oh, you got to go to mm-hmm. Germany in May. Actually, maybe you do. I don't know. 
I gotta go to Norway in May. I know, definitely not February. I'm like looking at temperatures. I'm like, the average temp is like negative 10. I'm like, oh, sick. Yeah. Oh, goddamn. I mean, whatever. You're from fucking Omaha. It's the same shit. It's all a bunch of German people, dude. It'll it'll just be fine. It'll just be like you wear a coat and then you're mostly just inside uh, cool sex clubs. You're going to feel like you're in Omaha. Everyone's going to look very corn fed. You're like, okay, yeah. Omaha is the Germany of the United States. Like, I guess I'll eat bratwurst. Yeah. How, fa- how fat do we think I'm going to get while shooting the show? That's the real key. You're going to be obese. Just beer and brat- bratwurst? I'm going to... Ro- rotund. Rotund. It was like... Your boobs are remember huge. Remember when I... Uh, it was after shooting the first Pitch Perfect, I came back and we we did had to do like a red carpet for some shit for, to promote uh, mm-hmm. Workaholics. And I came back and you guys hadn't seen me the entire time I was gone, the right. three months I was off shooting uh, the first Pitch Perfect movie. Yeah. And I came back, and I remember Durs goes, holy shit, dude. <laughs> right. Because I my pizza. head was just like 25 pounds heavier. The red carpet started sinking. <laughs> <laughs> Turned uh, into uh, like, sand. <laughs> we had to bail him out. <laughs> this dude just started to slip through the cracks. Yeah. Like, well, well, even I... even if uh, Germany causes you to gain a lot of weight, I do hope you It'd get to funny. go and film yeah. that. Because... I feel like you're getting back in character for Bumper. Bumper? Yeah, yeah, bum- yeah bumper, bumper was yeah. kind of you know a little more of a chunker. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what the scripts are like. I don't know if you know. Can you give uh, spoilers? What? what yeah, the we... scripts are. Bumper became hot as fuck now. Okay. Yeah, he's super hot, oh se- my sexy God. ass dude. So mm-hmm. that's oops, a sorry one. about it. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So they're recasting you. I wouldn't set yourself you? up oh. that way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's still fat. Bumper's fuck. super yeah, yeah, sexy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Adam, can we talk? Adam. Uh, recasted. You've been yeah. drinking. You've been eating the wiener snitch stole. <laughs> You've been at the snitch. Snitch. <laughs> I tell ya. Mm. My gosh. By the way, come in Blazer's DMs and tell him how it's pronounced. Oh yeah, please everybody, please everybody. T- come I on, Nation, come, come on. on in. I'm ready to hear it. Um, Germany. It, what's funny when you go to Germany, everyone's either super tall and skinny or hella stout and thick. There's no like in between. That's it. Um, they're, they're I just, could get I could get in with that. They're just roly polies or they're just just tall tent poles. Yeah. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. That's dope. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. You guys have to come visit. Mm -hmm. How long are you there? Month you're there for months. Yeah, and they're for like four or five months, something like that. That's gonna be absolutely insane. Wow. To live live abroad like that. I've never done anything like that. Fully omnicromed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope it happens because that's gonna be an adventure that you'll Mm. never forget. I like how you got sexy there. Freaking see ya. Uh, yes. Well, should we give uh, uh, should we give flowers or take backs or apologies or, or giveaways now? Take yeah, freaking yeah, heck, man. What is? There? I would like to give uh, Kyle Newichek his flowers. You know, he was okay. a he was a big part of the podcast mm-hmm. for the first however many episodes, sixty something that we've done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kyle betrayed me, and- but then he betrayed us, and he lied, tried to <laughs> yeah. hide, and he died deep inside, and I know the reason why. What is that from? An Eminem song? No, Tenacious that is D. from Tenacious D. Kyle betray me and then I tried to hide and I died uh, deep inside. Yeah, I don't know. You know? Yeah, it's oh, great. You gotta get on that. Yeah, you Actually, on that. you know what's a really great rewatch is like Tenacious D did uh, like had a show for HBO way oh, back yeah. in the day. Oh, yeah. I watched that. It's fucking funny. Is it on HBO yeah. Max? That's a great question. I don't know. I just watch it like clips on YouTube, oh. but if you could... And yeah. then I also think I actually Somebody's have the over. DVD of it. Todd, Todd says uh, yes. Todd Our says producer it's says on yes. HBO Max. Check so TII it out. Nation, run those numbers up on that Tenacious D show on HBO because that shit was fucking funny, bro. Is the funny, bro. is Mr. Show on there too? I mean, I feel like HBO has a bunch of deep cuts that aren't on there. It, okay, yes, it is. Todd says yes. All right. Dude, HBO, yeah. Holy shit. They were... I love that's my favorite app, I think, right now. That's the one HBO I'm watching Max. the most. Yeah. I like Tubi because it has the Freak Brothers. I so also great enjoy Tubi. Dude, uh, let me give you guys flowers. Fabulous furry Freak Brothers. Check it out on Tubi. How about the I went over to some store in Hollywood and they had a whole Freak Fred, Brothers like Fred Siegel, right? Installation. Yeah. Yeah. Fred yeah. Siegel, if you're in Hollywood. Uh, I I haven't been I haven't been able to to go yet, 
but uh, it looks all the photos I've seen. It looks fucking phenomenal. It, it looks was so crazy. Cool. A whole uh, fabulous furry freak brothers installation. Yeah, yeah. You know what else is wild that I saw is that they what? pulled up with a bus to uh, San Diego Comic Con yesterday. Like Comic Con mm -hmm. is back. What the fuck? It's I didn't now? even know. Yeah, it's Comic Con it's like is today this week. and yesterday. Yes. I thought Comic Con was in the middle of the summer. Yeah, it, I yeah. think it was like a makeup con or something. I don't know, but Ma it oh, I think you're confused. It's makeup con. Oh, that's it's makeup right. con. Yeah, yes. Cosmo cosmetology. Yeah, it's Sephora. Yeah, all the Kardashians are there, and then like we just kind of slid. Well, you Brothers know what? Thing. We might be able to get a Kardashian on the Freak Brothers now that uh, the homie. Pete Davidson yes. is boinking one of them. Yes, sir. Wow. Kim. In love. Wow. Kim. <laughs> Kim? <laughs> yeah, wow. she's like the, the the biggest bootied one. He got okay. game. He got game. <laughs> he I, does, I, It, it dude. is funny to me how people are like, how does he keep doing? It's like he obviously has extraordinary game and yeah. manipul yeah. manipulation tactics. I'm yes, sure he he's just me. really good at, at talking to girls. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would probably be pretty bad at it. Blake, horrific. Yeah. Uh, I'd be very bad. A Kardashian is not on my map. That's not no, happening. I'm not no, gonna I wouldn't even that. want that's the upkeep with that. It's, yeah, it's dude, too I, much. Part of me is like, I mean, whatever. I, I hope everything works out. I hope they're in love. I hope it's great. But mm -hmm. like now you have like Kanye West publicly going on Instagram. Like I want her back. Like the drama, the. The press, the fucking, that is crazy. Like, why would you so, step in wait, that? He's Kanye West went on Instagram and said, "I want." He posts yes. a picture of him and Kim from like back in the day in love, and is like, "This is just a moment in time. Like, we'll be back in some Bible passage or some shit." Like a, like a mat, yeah. Like, imagine doing that to an ex girlfriend on a public platform. Like, that's just not. So I, not I, sh the game, I, should, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> right, exactly. Just, that is not game. Yeah. That is the opposite. Um, like, how often does that work with an ex girlfriend as a way to get her back? Is to just uh, be like, if I had to guess, and I'm and I know chicks, hundred percent of the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's science. I forgot you knew chicks. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. I know chicks, but like, yeah. Why? It's such a landmine. But I guess it's like a do it to do it situation. Yeah, I mean, right. There's no knows? way this dude thinks he's gonna spend more than two months in a relationship with this person right i mean unfortunately i just don't think that like the environment will allow it right you're gonna go in fucking sane it's just yeah. too much dude yeah why well well in the meantime let's get him on let's get kim on fabulous furry freak brothers yeah and uh exploit the relationship now that he's in it we have Adam right. see exactly right. you see, now you're thinking like a fucking producer yeah baby. i'm producing producer the shit out of this yeah let's get out uh but yes please watch fabulous Fairy free brothers on tubi streaming mm -hmm. now yeah it's really easy to get i thought it was going to be a pain in the ass when i first no, heard super about easy. Tubi, but you just fucking install <laughs> it and <laughs> what? so if you guys are looking to get an app it's actually you just download the app yeah, but it's free, and then there's tons of shit on it. Yeah, but there's you don't have to put in any information. It's yeah. just it's just one click, boom, yeah. you've got it. And, it, you're, and what you you're describing movies. is television, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like they're just like, let's be television again. Yes, yep. which we all just want television back. We please, just want TV. Back. Why is this happening? Why? Uh, when you guys were in the hotel, I think maybe we talked about this already, but isn't there something beautiful about just flipping channels? Oh, just oh, back to swag yeah. surfing. Oh, oh well, channels. I just watched. I watched shit that I like. I watched all of Titanic. Cause yeah, it was just on TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I watched like I was uh, hungover in my hotel room, and I was just was like, you know what? I'm gonna watch mm -hmm. this three hour movie with commercials. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and it was fun, and I yeah. enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Oh, was it, it a who holds up? Oh, Titanic's a good movie, dude. Yeah. James Cameron, come on, Avatar. I mean, the guy makes very good movies. I would say Terminator over Avatar, but Avatar. So would I. But, Avatar. You're so having a hard I. time speaking today. It's early for me, okay? Avatar. It's a bagel. <laughs> it's a bagel. Remember, we were trying to. Uh, it's a bagel. Because you told me you watched uh, Titanic, and I was trying to remember what the story was. Why was Leonardo DiCaprio on the ship? He was coming. He was playing a Irish person. It's an no, upstairs an downstairs American. situation. It's like yeah. the rich people upstairs, poor people downstairs. He yeah. won a ticket on the thing. It was like I'm gonna go on the Titanic for fucking shits and giggles. Mm -hmm. And fun. then he meets. All the time. Well, it's just <laughs> one of the biggest movies of all time. I've probably seen yeah. it. I've probably seen it three times. I guess. I just. Uh, I think this might be. They like meet my... and then they gotta. The boat goes down. Mm -hmm. 
Spoiler. Yep, spoiler. Well, uh, and that's again. how good of a movie it is. It's like you know, you know right away that obviously the boat's gonna sink and everyone's gonna die. Right. Mm-hmm. But they, but you still care the entire time. You know why? Billy Zane. Billy I was about Zane. to say I was gonna give my shout out the Zane train <laughs> to Billy Zane because he hadn't been mentioned. But thank you, Anders, because Billy Zane is one of the best actors. Yeah, of all a real, time. a real treasure. When he gets on the getaway boat, he like throws some kid aside and is like, "Move." Yes, he's so good. I can I love it. rattle off a few iconic uh, roles of Zane, Titanic. Do we, do, I mean, we got to cast Billy Zane in something. We got to get on that Zane train. I'd love to. I'd love to work. I've I've worked with Billy Zane before. I did a, a show. <laughs> like, I'd love, I'd love to, to. I work have. With him again. <laughs> well, it, it was a it was a, a short lived sitcom called Samantha Who that I was on right. way way back right. in the day, and uh, he was also on it. Very nice guy, from what yeah. I remember. I want to say Sean Clements uh, produced something that uh, very funny writer, workaholics guy. Um, Hollywood Handbook produced something with uh, Billy Zane was like the star of it. I don't know. If love it. Met. Great. And said he was good. Train. Said he was fun. We're on the Zane train, baby. Let that be known. T-I-I so, or die. Any giveaways, take backs, apologies? My shout out was to Billy. Uh, I would like to uh I would like to uh give flowers to you guys for sticking with the podcast. Thank you. Finally. And and finally, uh I'm we're gonna shine the way we've always meant to shine, which is right. being the number one podcast in the world, which I feel like we're well on our way now. And with that said, TII Nation, please like, subscribe, tell your friends. We need the listeners. We're trying to beat Sonny and Rogan at this point. We're trying to be the biggest podcast in the world. And and, uh, uh, also watch us on the YouTube. Absolutely. I feel like we... We haven't, we haven't, uh, we haven't pushed the YouTube very hard. I, I've, no. I've realized, but I, I, I've recently gone and and looked at some of the clips. Super fun. Yeah, it's fun to to, to see Blake's little smirky expressions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, you can, uh, hi, YouTube. You can check out my She Hulk back yeah, here. Yeah, which is Marvel announced. Hot, my hot, little Sam hot, Cook, hot. and then look at my Hot Boys right there. Ooh. Ooh, some rap Aww. party. So cute. Um, what do we got here? We're crawling out of Wayman's butthole right there, I think. But nice. is uh, Nuichek in that photo or is it just the three of us? No, it's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, good. It's what, good. <laughs> it's what the fans Freaking want. See ya. Uh, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I miss him. I miss him. And if him. you want Kyle by, back, make sure that you boycott uh, what we do in the shadows because that will get him back quicker, I think. Yeah. So, oh, wow. Uh-huh. Is that Don't go to happening? Kyle. <laughs> can I apologize? Can, or can uh, I urge you to do a take back real quick? We love Kyle. Really? We love nah. we love what we call shadows because we just don't have time to say the whole name and also forget it. Um, yeah, it's it's too bad he's not here. Uh, I apologize to the fans, um, but I'm not a bitch. Deal with it. I'm an asshole. <laughs> yeah, get him. And that's another episode of Friendship. This, this is, is important. 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 Not, but not to Kyle. Freaking see ya. Thank you.